This is ANN News Brief. Good morning, I am Lucy Adeyemi. A senior regional official said on Monday at least 40 people were killed by paramilitary forces in eastern Ethiopia over the weekend in the latest spate of violence driven by ethnic divisions. Unrest along the border of the country's Somali and Oromia provinces has displayed nearly a million people. Oromia regional spokesman Negeri Lencho said heavily armed members of a paramilitary force from the Somali region had carried out cross-border attacks in the area plagued by instability. A week earlier, mobs looted properties owned by ethnic minorities. Ethnic violence has spread since protests broke out in the Oromia region over land rights in 2015. The central government said the unrest had been stoked by regional officials who had fallen out with the central authorities trying to address right abuses in the region. Mali's presidential runoff election was on Sunday. Now, Malian opposition candidate Sumaila Sise has said he would reject the result of the poll, marred by accusations of fraud, violence, and low turnout. Sise called on the population to rise up ballot counting was underway on Monday across the vast West African country after the vote on Sunday saw one poll worker killed and hundreds of stations closed due to insecurity. Sisi said at his party's headquarters in Bamako, the fraud is proven and will not accept the dictatorship of fraud. So the three-year-old president Ibrahim Bubak Akaita is the front runner in a reprise of his 2013 face off against former finance minister Sisi. But Sisi's team and other opposition contenders have repeatedly accused the government of fraud, including ballot box stuffing and vote buying. Meanwhile, African Union election observers said the voting was carried out in acceptable conditions. We will be back after the short break. If you know it, go internet. Because you the use of Palasa, hey. your phone no the answer. See me see Wahala. Ah, my brother, go get smart for the air. Hey. Got that Palasa phone. Phone when no go for your honey. Got hey. that Palasa phone. Phone when no fix the selfie. Got that Palasa phone. Hey. 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 No be correct for the air. Got that Palasa phone. Upgrade to a smartphone today and get double data for six months on any MTN data bundle you buy. Simply purchase a smartphone from any store anywhere in Nigeria or bring your current smartphone from any network. Insert your MTN SIM card to start enjoying your double data bonus. Offer is open to all new and existing MTN subscribers. Join the largest smartphone movement today. Make it known for your hand. The UN Security Council is urging Democratic Republic of Congo's rival political parties and the institutions organizing December's election to ensure peaceful, credible voting and a democratic transition of power. The UN's most powerful body in a statement on Monday welcoming recent steps in the electoral process, including President Joseph Kabila's respect for his commitment to abide by the Congolese constitution and not seek a third term. Council members urge all involved to ensure the elections occur in conditions of transparency credibility and inclusivity. They said respect for fundamental rights and maintaining the electoral timeline are essential for peaceful elections in December. The council encouraged the electoral commission to ensure any request for logistical and technical support for the elections for the UN peacekeeping mission in DRC is made on time. That's CNN News Brief. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, annafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV, Instagram and Twitter at TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi.